I'm going to show you how to make scar wax. And all you need is foundation, Vaseline, and cornstarch. All right, I'll be right back and you can see what's going on. Okay, so all the Vaseline is down. I'm going to open this up. Okay, I can just do this now. I'm going to break the whole thing because I'm making a big, a big bunch. Break it up, break it in there, break it, break it. I did about that much for now. Now I'm going to take some cornstarch. And I feel bad because I don't really have measurements, so like, you know. And the beginning is the hardest because it's still like really wet, but I like to use a, like utensil first and then I'll get my hands in soon. All right, let me mix up a little. So you can tell now I can finally start like touching it a little bit, but it's still a little too sticky. So basically I just start using my hands now, like a this motion, like almost like you're trying to make dough, you know what I mean? getting there it's still like you can see how it's like sticking in my fingers so if it's doing that it's definitely not good enough but if it's crumbly then that means you put too much cornstarch but if you ever put too much you just put more Vaseline in there and you know just keep mixing and mixing and mixing okay starting to get there still a little sticky on the fingers So, mine's too sticky, so I need more. Okay, I washed my hands. And now it's getting more into like a, I can touch it more, but it's actually too light. So I'm gonna go back in while I'm still kneading and stuff. Mind you, I get this foundation from Dollar Tree, so then it doesn't hurt me as bad to just break it up. That looks good. And then when it gets more like dough like this is when I start doing like a, this type of motion. I'll make it all into a pancake and then I roll, I'll do it with one hand, roll and push. Roll and push, roll and push. Trying to grab some of this extra cornstarch. Oh, slowly but surely, you know, it really looks like Play Doh. Look at that. So there you have it, my homemade scar wax. Um, some people ask if you can use flour. I personally don't like flour because I feel like it gets more gritty. But if that's all you got, that's all you got. But really, like, after it's done, you should be able to do anything you want with it. And if it ever gets too shiny or you feel like it's too sticky or anything, more cornstarch, more flour, whatever you want to use. So, um, yeah, like and subscribe for more and I'll be back. Okay, bye!